Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. So, I wouldn't say I'm feeling massively better than yesterday, probably about 10% better and I'm exhausted still. I woke up and I had every intention of going back to sleep and I went to the toilet, got back in bed and couldn't get back to sleep no matter what I did so after about 40 minutes I'm like this ain't gonna work I might as well just get up very tired I don't think I'm as tired as I was when I got up yesterday and then tried to go back to bed then yesterday and I couldn't get back to sleep but I'm still very tired I feel really ill the exhaustion part is like the worst part and I also feel very flu-like so got up went and cleaned the bath because I have a bath once a week. really like having baths once a week. I find them relaxing. I also like to shave in the bath. Like I shave in the shower, but I get a better shave in the bath. So the rest of the week when I'm shaving in the shower, it doesn't work as well. So had a bath. Well, went downstairs, had something to eat, had a drink, came back up, put a face mask on, went and got in the bath, had the bath, had a shower, and I've literally just finished getting ready. And by the time I go out, it's going to be like an hour after it originally planned. So I'm going to strip my bed and put my washing in the washer. So it's washing whilst I'm out. When I come back, I can put it in the dryer. Then I can put, fill the washer for a second time because I didn't do a load this weekend. I should have done both things, both my bedding and both my washing. But I've been too ill. I don't know how I'm going to feel when I get back. I've got to go to a few places. I've got to go and pick my prescription up. Hopefully it's ready. Hopefully there's been no confusion with it because you know my doctor gave me last week's and next week's but not this week so I don't know who will have signed it but whoever have signed it may have like looked on the, my records if it went to my doctor she would have looked because she would have been like I'm sure I've given her her prescription so I've got to do that but on the way because I've got post to post and the last posting times other than the local post office which I'm not going to go to because it's a nightmare to get back off onto the main road especially at this time I'm going to actually go to the sorting office and do it there I've not done that in such a long time I hope the post box is where it used to be because it used to be you didn't have to drive in it used to be like just outside the gates hopefully it's still there and I'm going to do it there then go to carry on to my doctor so I'm going to go that way then I don't know what shops I'm going to go to. I want to go to a few, but... <sighs> I've got my Ivy Park hoodie on today. I need to get my shoes on. I'm feeling all <sniffs> like that. I've had paracetamol because I ran out of Nurofen last night. So I only had two doses of Nurofen yesterday. I could do with a dose now. When am I due pain relief? I'm due pain relief round about now, actually. I'm going to see what I've got because I want to take something before I go out and in an ideal world I want to film tomorrow's video when I get back because I've realised it's Tuesday tomorrow. Another thing that I found out about tomorrow is I thought I had a meeting on Wednesday and it turns out it's tomorrow. So that kind of threw me massively because in my head I had this plan for the week and I knew what I was doing each day and I knew... I had nothing tomorrow other than I'm probably going to have to do something health permitting. But to be honest, if I'm ill, I'm, I'm still going to carry on. This is what I did last year. I carried on. And then I got really ill and ended up in hospital, which I don't want. I need to put my shoes on, go to the toilet, strip my bed, put it in the washer, go. An hour and ten after I was meant to leave. Just in my car and it's freezing. I'm waiting for it to warm up. Then I'm off to the sorting office. Then the doctors. It's dark outside. It's darker than it's looking. I'm at Tesco, but I'm gonna go. I'm not going anywhere else today. I'm just gonna go drop some lunch off for my dad, even though it's like going up half past five. Then I'm gonna go home and try and film tomorrow's video. But I'm feeling massively, massively unwell. Sick of this now sat in my car outside for the last 10-15 minutes I feel really ill I'm getting a sore throat I feel like I've not slept in days 
I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm hot and then I'm cold. And then my dad's like, oh, I've had a cold for weeks. So he's potentially giving me his cold continuously. Because every time I start... Every time I start to feel better, even a little bit, I start to get worse again. And I think it's because he just said he has a, has a cold and he's had it for weeks. He is one of the main reasons I get ill all the time because he will get something and instead of either going to the doctors and getting medication for it or self-treating, like with day nurse capsules or whatever he needs to take, he will continuously keep the illness and not try to get better and he never gets it really bad it's very rare for him to pick up anything that's really bad so he just keeps giving him me illnesses all the time the other day he said oh it's not a cold but i'm like you've had a runny nose for weeks how can it not be a cold i'm like go to the doctors and he's like the doctors won't do anything I'm like, if you've had a cold for weeks, I'm pretty sure the doctor will do something because obviously something's making you ill. Like, if it's not going, there must be an underlying condition that's stopping it from going. Or maybe it's his age, I don't know. But he's continuously making me ill, which I think is unfair. He's done this before to me where I've been ill for months and months and months because he'll have something and he'll only have it a little bit and it won't really affect him. But I will catch the full-blown version of it. So here I am with a headache, a temperature, I ache all over, I keep going hot and then cold, feel like I've not slept, spent most of the weekend just sat around, now I'm behind on everything, I've got loads of things to do and I just don't have the energy to do it, if I could go to bed now I would, but I've got a video to film for tomorrow, I've got other stuff to sort out, and he's like, I've got a bit of a cold, I've had it weeks, yeah it's obviously what I'm getting, <sighs> I'm not happy. And he knows I've got an, a weak immune system and he knows what he's got and potentially got off it. He just said, I don't feel as ill as you're saying you are. And I'm like, but sometimes someone will have something and someone will get it off that person and it'll be a lot worse than the, what that first person has it because everyone gets the illnesses in different ways. So I'm not happy and I'm not happy the fact that he won't do anything to get better. So I could go around for weeks really, really unwell. I hate that it's not sealed. So this is, could have been potentially been opened. But it was the cheapest place I could get it. It's my favourite mascara. So if you want to know what makes my lashes look good but because it it works on me it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work on you because different things work differently on different people so i potentially got something because of my dad so like i had flu you would have seen it in last thursday's vlog bi-weekly i was so ill that week like i've never felt that ill in like i think it was february when i was really ill like that last time and then i had a fluey thing like a couple of weeks later and now i've been ill since then like constantly exhausted constantly aching or sore throat or feeling like i need to go to sleep and potentially my dad's making me ill because he won't go to the doctors. So when I see my doctor, I'm going to say, I'm potentially getting this from my dad because he won't come and see you. It's another one of my Christmas presents. I've wanted one of these with a handle on for ages. If you would have watched a vlog last week, you would have seen I got an, a normal Tangle teaser as well. Yeah, I have to buy my own presents because my dad won't. Well, he'll leave it to Christmas Eve and then most of these things you've got to buy online. And then he won't be able to get it and then he'll say, oh, I'll get it in the new year. And it never happens. Like, 
there's still stuff he said he was going to get me last Christmas, after Christmas, and he never did. Because his money is for drinking. My money is for buying stuff for the house. That's why I don't buy much these days, because why should all my money go on buying stuff for the house and his money goes on like, going to the pub? So there's loads of things the house needs, but I also got this. I had um, a small one of these and a big one of these. My big one ran out. I don't know where my small one is, but I've got the little set. So I ordered that at the same time, so that could have fit in there with that. But no, send it in two boxes. And it's got a moon key ring. So you've seen all my Christmas presents. <laughs> I'm not allowed them till Christmas day. The mascara I bought myself, but everything else. So I'm not happy that he won't like get rid of his illness and he won't go to the doctor. So I'm left being ill because he won't go to the doctor. And it could be potentially him that's causing me to be ill. I've been waiting for this. And then it comes and it's nothing like it was meant to be. It looks nothing like the picture and it's smaller than it said it would be. Negative feedback. Don't I already have this one? It doesn't matter if I have because I actually like it. Merry Christmas. I'm pretty sure I've got this one. I'm meant to be filming tomorrow's video, I think. I don't even know what tomorrow's video is, to be honest. Who knows what tomorrow's video is? I bought myself some gloves. They had these in black and I really liked them. You got two pairs, you got a, that pair. So they were identical to these, but they were black. And then the other pair were black with a metallic stitch to it, like glitter to it. But for some reason, these really stood out to me, even though the gray and my coat's black. I just really like them so I got these and they're meant to have those touch screen finger things which never work but I just wanted the grey ones like I wish these grey ones were with a pair of black and not pink even though I like pink pink will stand out like a sore thumb with my coat but I just love the grey ones and I don't know why because I ran out I've not had any today I think I'm gonna have a dose. Ran out, well I've got one left. Done really well actually. Not that you need to know about my toilet habits, but then again, I've talked about them on my vlog. So I picked these slippers up for my mum for Christmas. And they're so adorable. How adorable are them? And they've got stars on the soles. And they're not for me, because look, they're size three to four. I need five to six. I did originally pick up a really nice pair of slippers for myself and they were grey with silver thread in them and they were not these, they were a bit more, they're kind of similar to the ones that I've got now and I thought well I've got some that will do but if they're still there next time I go in and I've got the money because they're only a fiver, I'll get them. So I got these for my mum. I was going to get her a scarf but then I was like I couldn't be bothered. But I may still buy her a scarf. I don't know. I need to see what I've got. Which isn't actually much. But I just thought these looked really nice. They had like a dusky pink version. Which I almost picked up. But she isn't really a pink person. And then there was a navy pair. And they were nice. But I just loved how 
cute these are I would well I wouldn't get this color for me because I just don't do that color because I'm about to run out then I got this is the first thing I picked up now, I don't know if I'm going to keep these for my dad for him to munch on you would like you'd be shocked if you knew how much sugar my dad eats like cakes and biscuits on a daily basis the funny thing is my dad calls my stepdad fat and greedy and my stepdad's probably about 18 stone or oh, he's not even that and my dad's put a lot of weight on his stomach in the last three years because he used to run before and now he doesn't like he barely even walks to his car i'm surprised he's surprised he doesn't have like a mobility skill to, to get to his car because he, he has gotten very lazy and um he calls my stepdad fat because my, my stepdad is greedy like he'll literally eat off your plate whereas my dad wouldn't but my dad will sit up the stairs at night and he'll literally eat a full pack of mince pies then if he's got any biscuits, he'll eat a pack of biscuits and then he'll munch on Chris and his evening meal. Yet my stepdad doesn't eat that way because my mum wouldn't let him. But my dad never used to be like that, although he's always had a sweet tooth. Look how thin I've done my eyebrows today. I did one of these last week in my, well, two or three weeks ago in my shower because it was getting to the point where I was constantly having to stop the shower whilst I was having a shower. And it was taking six seven minutes to drain in the end and i'm not and i used one called buster it was really good but i can see that there's still some issue where it's not it's not piling up or building up but it's it's not fully drained so i spotted this for two pounds and i thought i'm gonna whack that in either tonight or tomorrow um it says leave 15 minutes but you can leave it longer so i think i'm gonna use it overnight one night but then again it's got different ingredients and if it doesn't smell i'll leave it overnight if it smells i'll do it before i'm going out so at least it'll get a couple of hours i don't mean going out today because i'm in now i need to push my fringe back down when before I, if i film a video i need to i don't even have it tomorrow anything for tomorrow <coughs> I am getting more and well though. I stood outside the doctor's coughing. I've been to the doctor's. That's for my dad. I'm going to wrap it as a Christmas present. I used to get him like about 30, 35 like shower gels, deodorants, face wash stuff. And I'm, there's nowhere going to be nowhere near that amount this year. I've cut right back because I'm broke. And because I'm ill, I've picked up two of these. And the Dr. Pepper. Well, today's footage is going to be better than the last two days. I am getting a sore throat, though. I'm going to go. I'm going to make a cup of tea. I'm going to have a look at my list of potential video ideas. I'm hoping there's one where I can sit down and do like a talky video. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It's like quarter past seven. Look at the brows today. Oh yeah, I went to the doctor's to pick up my prescription because if you watched my vlogs last week, you'll see my doctor totally messed up. And it was signed, but it was signed by... Um, the main male doctor I used to see him all the time so he must have signed it Friday so I can collect that tomorrow and also like I've got something to do tomorrow that I thought I was doing Wednesday so it kind of messed my head up a bit when I was like I accident it was actually an accident I found out it is tomorrow and not Wednesday and it's a good job I found out these are soft but I don't gotta get distracted don't I so yeah it's a good job I actually was like I need to put my washing in the dryer as well, I just remembered that. 
and then I need to put another load on. Yeah, it's a good job that I realised because it said when my next appointment was, because if you scroll to the left on your phone, or do you pull it right, it says your appointment says, up oh, next, blah, 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 blah. And I just noticed it because I knew I had nothing else before it and I presumed it was Wednesday because in my head, for the last couple of weeks, it's been Wednesday that this appointment is. So tomorrow I thought, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, regardless of how ill I might feel because I have no choice but to carry on. And this is how I ended up in hospital last year. And if you want to find out what happened, then I'll hopefully link it above during this video. But I feel like it's going to be one of those situations again where I'm busy all the week leading up to Christmas and then get ill and then end up in hospital because my throat's trying to become sore. I'm struggling to be awake. Like I feel, I felt okay compared to yesterday till I went out and when I got back in my car at Tesco to go to drive to see my dad that's when I was like oh I'm really exhausted again and all I've done is drive to my doctor's drive to the supermarket I was meant to go to other shops today and then I thought I'll do it and then I was going to do it tomorrow but tomorrow my plans totally changed oh god I don't know whether I'm coming or going my neighbour's like yeah hi um yeah, so, God. And today's vlog, which was meant to go up at 3pm, went up at 3am. Because that's how tired I was last night. I'm hoping to have a good night's sleep tonight. I need to be alert and I need to be out of the house before lunchtime tomorrow. Because I have to do a couple of things before I go to my meeting. And I want to do the things before the meeting because of where the meeting is. It's nowhere near where I live. <laughs> And I've got to come home in potentially tea time traffic. Depends how long the meeting's for. So I want to do the things that I can do in that area before the meeting. Oh, last night I couldn't even get to sleep because my bladder was having none of it. It was like, nope, you're going to the toilet 900 times. And I've filmed a full vlog's worth. I might cut some of this out, you'll see, but I'm going to go. It's been about three hours since I last filmed for my vlog. I nearly said filmed myself, but I have filmed myself for my Tuesday video, which you'll see the same day as this. Fingers crossed. And I filmed Friday's video as well. I just thought, I'm not feeling well, my throat's getting worse, I could potentially get really ill. So I thought, I'd just film Friday's video as well. Um, it wasn't exactly what I was gonna do, but it's done, and I'll need to edit it. But first I'm going to edit Tuesday's video and I need to edit this vlog as well. I actually wanted to watch something on TV but because it's coming up for half past ten I thought edit Tuesday's video and then edit this. So I'll probably come back and finish this and then edit it because I need to upload them both tonight. Write the description boxes and schedule them because I've got a lot to do tomorrow see this is what I'm dreading because I feel like I'm gonna definitely get more and more unwell and this is what happened last year I know I'm not having to go to work so I'm not having to get up as early and get ready and then go to work but I'm still rushing around I know my main illness has flared up because I can feel it because I'm in pain with it and I know I've got this sore throat and I'm aching all over and I'm really really tired I've got the dryer on with my bedding in which I've got to put on my bed I need to empty the washer some of it in the dryer some of it on the radiators obviously edit what I said I'm gonna edit I want to try and edit Fridays if I can don't matter if I don't upload that because obviously my priority for uploading will be tomorrow's videos. 
I know what I want to film for Sunday but um, it's like health health um, if I'm able to health wise and also like Tuesday is Christmas day do I put my Tuesday video up do I do a special Tuesday video <laughs> I forgot Christmas day was on Tuesday and I have my Tuesday content I don't have anything special that I can put up I can't think of anything that I would call special like it's not like I've got a story time relating to Christmas other than the one that went up yesterday or Sunday as you're watching it because it's Monday now that I'm filming this but like I should have put my Christmas in hospital story time up on Christmas day I don't think I'm gonna get much views on Christmas day so whatever I put up could be the worst video ever I don't think I'm gonna get many views um, but if you've got any suggestions let me know but by the time this goes live well, it all depends on like health like if my health gets worse I've got no backups that's why I filmed Fridays tomorrow I'm not gonna have time to film Sundays Wednesday oh god I just know what I've got to do this weekend I'm dreading it I've not even bought my dad's main Christmas presents I'm still umming and ahhing over it because I wanted to get him one of the things in white and it went out of stock in white by various different brands and they've got some white ones but they're like over the budget that I'd set myself and even the one I was going to get was above what I was going to pay for it but white would go better than the black <laughs> I don't want to say what it is in case I don't get it but I've actually cut down a lot on his presents. I've cut down a lot on everyone's presents. I've only bought presents and I'm only buying presents for four people. <laughs> it's just like one of those things like, who's the most important people in my life? Who do I see the most? There's, a, there's an answer you might wanna answer. Who do I see the most? one of the people I live with so I see them the most two of the people like one of them I've not seen since January last year and one of the others I've seen March this year that was the last time I saw them and the other person the fourth person that I've bought for I see every one to two weeks so if you know who that is then you do watch all my videos <laughs> but yeah I've cut right down I've had to one of the reasons is I'm broke I don't work I don't have income I'm not on any benefits I'm not anything number two I had to think who is important in my life who do I actually see and as much as there are people I would normally typically buy presents for in the family I don't see them and you know it speaks volumes really about my family um, even though three of the people I'm buying for are family one's only family by marriage and two made me <laughs> If I like gave everyone background on why I make comments like that, everyone would understand it. Like, the two policewomen, Melissa Chadwick and Karen Haynes, couldn't understand the comments I used to make about my mum and why it doesn't bother me. But when you've had someone who hasn't wanted to be part of your life, like after 20 years of it, you're like, you're kind of over it. And they couldn't get it because obviously they have good relationships with their, their family. But, you know, no one has the perfect family. There's always that one person, isn't there? Like, everyone has that family member where they like, they don't want to talk about. 
and I'm not going to come on here and go into details about my family. As far as I'm concerned, what I've learned this year from people and you know there's someone in my life that like I said I can have a very small circle who look after me I mean one of them I'm paying but you know some of the comments that people say to me and things like you know you've got to look at people's actions and not only what they do to you or say to you or how they are around you it's like how often do they come and see you or how often do they ask how you are or what's going on in your life you know speaks volumes so and I'm not even spending much on the people that I'm buying for and I might show you like I've shown you one of the things I've bought but I'm gonna be wrapping them at some point so I will show you the little bits that I've got because I haven't and I can't afford to buy lots anyway and my bills have gone up as well like I've got bigger outgoings as well anyway I'm gonna go and edit and I'll be back